Good morning all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the installation of a double pole circuit breaker. Uh, double pole circuit breakers are used in a variety of electrical applications from anything to do with uh, a two pole or a 240 volt, sometimes 208 volt depending on how you're using it. But the example that we're going to show today is for 240 volt, so stick around. How to wire a new So as you can see, here's the inside of our electrical panel. Um, we're just tying in actually one on an upgrade here. So we wanted to show the installation of what an actual two pole circuit looks like. So there's a couple of different kinds. You can have a red kind with just two wires, uh, red and black. So that would mean 240 volt. Or you can have one here, like you see, which is 10 gauge, which is 240 volt plus a neutral. So between the neutral, between the white and the red, we have 120. Between the white and the black, we have 120. And between the red and the black, we have 240. So what we need to do in this situation is put a two pole breaker in. So rather than a single one, we're gonna put a double. And the important part of that is to get that across two bus bars, so one, two. So as you can see, these bus bars, um, the reason I have my fingers here is because this panel isn't livened up yet or energized. So these bus bars would come down the whole one side and it goes every second one. And then the same from the other side as well. So no matter where you put this breaker, it picks up both sides of that bus bar and balances the load. That's the great thing about new breaker panels. So I'll just step back and show my uh, licensed electrician installing one of these uh, breakers for you. Now the first thing he's going to do, since he already has the wire tied in, he's going to put the breaker in for the 30 amp, uh, in this case it's a dryer. So he's going to slip that up into place, it clips underneath, and then goes on to the top. And clips right in just like that. So it doesn't matter where he, where he puts it. So the bottom side of the breaker actually gets clipped under those clips, and then the top side shoves into the bus bars. And as you can see, that's a double pole 30 amp breaker. So what we have here is we simply have the red wire and we have the black wire, and those are gonna get hooked underneath the terminals of that breaker. So that's what he's gonna do next. Now notice he's tightening it, tightening it down with a screwdriver. A lot of professionals will say that these need to be torqued. Um, a, couple of, a couple of thoughts about that. Number one, we start them with a Red Robinson screwdriver, uh, a number two, and then we follow up with a flathead screwdriver to make sure we get the extra torque on it. And we also tug on the wires to make sure they're good and solid. And in addition, the inspection department, when they come in to have a look, they also check the wires as well. Torquing the wires, you can use the manufacturer specifications. However, sometimes when you over torque, you get uh, stripping occurring. So you, you don't want to get yourself into that situation. But you also want to make sure that you're firmly underneath the tabs of the breaker because you don't want to get into a situation where you have a, a loose uh, conductor and then which causes arcing. So as you can see, he's done that quite quickly. Um, and that's just simply how fast it is. So it would be the same thing with this uh, this double pole 20 here or this 12 gauge wire that's going to go up underneath that breaker. But we just wanted to show basically the installation of a two pole breaker um, and as you can see along the top here we have one here which is a double 20 and then all your single poles and then here we have one which is another double 20 and another, another double 30 that's actually for a wall oven. Um, and then here we have two mini breakers. So on the end, I should just point out, mini breakers are great, but this actually only comes across one pole. So this is actually the same pole, and this is the same pole. However, it splits the breaker off into two separate uh, actual breakers to give two circuits. So these are called space savers. We use these a lot when we get into larger installations. So there is a, a quick installation of a double pole circuit breaker. Remember never to do your own electrical work and always consult in your own li lo uh, licensed local electrician. Sorry. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.